For the following exercise, evaluate the function f at the values of f of negative 2, f of 1, 0, 1, and 2. All right, so here is our function, and basically what they're asking us to do is to solve for f of x, okay, pretend like this is a unknown variable, essentially, you can think of it as y, a, b, or c, d even, e if you're feeling especially adventurous, um, when, okay, find this value when x is one of these values, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2, okay? So, all we have to simply do is follow the steps indicated on the bottom left, all right? And we can easily solve this, okay? Just remember the main idea of what we're trying to do. So I'm just going to rewrite this f of x is equal to x minus 2 all over x plus 3. And the first thing is I'm going to plug in my indicated f of x value. So they want me to find the first one is going to be f of negative 2. So now anywhere I have an x now on the right hand side, I'm going to plug in the value of negative 2. So this works out to be negative 2 minus 2 all over negative 2 plus 3. So now when I do the arithmetic here, this is negative 4 in the numerator. The denominator will be a positive 1. And it's negative 4, right? Negative 4 over 1 is the same as negative 4. So that takes care of that one. Let's look at the second example. So I'm going to rewrite this, okay? x minus 2 all over x plus 3. Now we want to find f of negative 1, they tell us. So let's do that. Anywhere you see an x plug in a negative 1. So this is negative 1 plus 3. And then all you have to do is simplify and do the arithmetic. All right, so this is going to be negative 3 all over then 2. So negative 3 halves. Great. And then let's take a look at the third one. All right, I think you're, you guys are probably starting to detect a pattern here. All right, x plus 3. So here now we have uh, f of 0. Okay, so anywhere there's an x, plug in a 0. So this is 0 plus 3. This one's a nice one, right? This one's nice and easy. So here, 0 is then going to be negative 2 over 3. Okay. If you notice, the numerator and denominator are changing by a constant value. Right? Notice the numerator is going up by from negative 4 to negative 3 to now negative 2. All right? It's increasing by 1. And also notice that the denominator is doing the same thing. It's also increasing by 1 unit. So we basically know what the other ones are going to work out to be. Also because if you notice each x value is changing a constant amount. So therefore I, I can make that extrapolation. All right, so the so I'm just gonna work those last ones quickly, but you can by all means do that, do the uh, substitutions on out. Okay, so this is gonna be uh, f of one. So now this is going to be equal to negative one over four. And that is that answer. And then last but not least, number five, will simply be f of 2. So this should now be 0 over 5, but we know anything over, 0 over anything is just 0. So that would be that answer. All right. So guys, thanks so much for tuning in. Hope this helped. Please remember to subscribe. See you in the next problem. Take care.